Good morning, everybody. We're going to get started shortly. show and yes that is my theme song um that deuce uh produced he put it together and boom here it is on the show um i hope you can hear it and basically i'm just doing it the old-fashioned way i'm playing it off a ipad onto my stream so um yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to get it incorporated into the show a little bit more smooth, but for now, I think it's great. Uh, okay, let's get started with the show. Today, we are making spinach, pineapple, sweet potato, ginger juice. Now, that sounds kind of like a quiche ingredients but um, I assure you that it's gonna be good. Well, I hope so, I hope it's gonna be good. Um, I was just thinking the other day, I was like, I haven't juiced spinach on the show in a long time, partially because I don't really like spinach that much. I don't really, if I'm gonna choose a dark green, like a leafy green, I'm gonna choose kale 100 times over spinach. But um, it's not just about what I like, it's about, uh, what I want you guys to experience as well. And it's also good because I wanted to learn more about spinach. So here we are making a spinach juice. Um, okay, let's just jump right in. We'll start by talking about ginger. Um, ginger has lots of medicinal properties. Uh, I mainly use it because I really like the spice that it adds. I like the little bit of um, heat that it throws into the juice, um, but uh, spinach, or spinach, not there yet, uh, ginger improves digestion because it awakens taste buds, um, and then that in turn produces saliva, which helps you, which aids in digestion, because the first part of digestion is in your mouth with your saliva, and then the rest is, um, the rest is history. Uh, oh, I also forgot to say, um, that this show is dedicated to two people today. Um, it's dedicated to my best friend, Kristen. Um, today is her birthday. So happy birthday. Um, and then October 25th is my dad's birthday. So this show is dedicated to my dad as well. Um, so happy birthday to two very important people in my life. Um, okay, my computer is being cool. All right, back to the benefits of ginger. Um, ginger is anti, is also an anti-inflammatory, uh, it has anti-inflammatory properties and it acts as a pain reliever as well. Um, I suggest making a ginger tea. If you don't really like ginger in your juice and you just want the ginger flavor by itself, you're going to slice up the ginger, put boiling water over it, maybe add a little bit of honey, um, some lemon as well. Really, really good for your throat. Um, ginger also relieves congestion and colds. So it's kind of like, some people call it a cure for the common cold. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I would go as far as say a cure for it, but definitely it was gonna help you feel better if you have a cold. And um, 
Yeah, so ginger is really good. And it tastes good, too. Kind of an acquired taste, but I love it. Okay, pineapple. I think this is the cutest little pineapple ever. I don't know, something about its little crown that just, um, I feel like we very much match today. I don't really have much cool stuff to say about this dress. This is actually the first time I wore this dress. Um, I think it's really cool. It's like a mesh dress on the top and then there's like a little slip dress underneath. Um, so it's kind of warm but also like um, cool too because it's meshy. Mm. A little bit Tony the Tiger-esque but, um, but I'm not scared of that. R. <laughs> okay. Pineapple. Um, pineapple is high in antioxidants. Um, it has enzymes that can fight inflammation and disease. Um, it also has the, en the enzyme bromelain, which aids in um, digestion. So same thing with ginger. Ginger is really good for digestion. Pineapple is really good for digestion. Um, and as we're going to talk about in a second, sweet potato is really um, alkalizing. So this juice is going to be really good for your stomach. Um, pineapple is high in vitamin C and high in manganese. And what does manganese do? Um, it aids in growth and also helps you maintain a healthy metabolism. So although pineapple is relatively sweet, um, it's not as bad for you as some people might try to make it sound like. Just because it's sweet doesn't mean that it's um, necessarily bad for you, especially if it's naturally occurring sugars. Now, if you're adding like honey or something to your pineapple, you should probably not do that. <laughs> That's a lot. But I don't know. Maybe... Maybe you're thirsty for sugar. I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on. Sweet potato. Um, like I was saying, very alkaline. Um, amongst raw sweet potato juice is amongst the most alkaline foods on the planet out there. Um, it neutralizes stomach acid, soothes stomach aches. Um, it has a detoxifying agent that flushes out the liver and gallbladder. So not only are you like soothing your stomach, but you're also like maybe getting rid of whatever is um, causing you an upset stomach. It's anti-inflammatory as well. All of these ingredients are anti-inflammatory. Uh, promotes digestion, ugh, favor, because it favors the multiplication of beneficial bacteria in the digestive tract. So it's really good, um, not just for a temporary fix, but also helps you um, maintain good digestion. It's high in vitamins A, C, B, calcium, iron, phosphorus, potassium. Um, sweet potato juice is growing on me too. Like I really like the taste of it. You can't really taste it that much, but it almost gives your juice a nice texture and um, almost makes it look kind of like creamy. And uh, it's good, it's really good. Okay, last but not least, a new ingredient to the show is spinach. Now, this is in the drying rack because I've washed it. I washed it really good yesterday and then I gave it another rinse today because obviously spinach, um, you wanna make sure that you wash it a lot. Uh, especially, even if you're buying it organic, wash it. I, wash, I washed each leaf individually, which took Yes, it took a lot of time, but um, it's obviously worth it. Um, so spinach is great for your heart, um, partially because of the high levels of omega-3 fatty acids, which is kind of interesting because usually omegas um, come from like meat and stuff or like chia seeds like we talked about before, like something a little bit more hearty, but um, spinach is high in omega-3s. And it's also rich in folate as well which is another good thing for your heart. Um, and keep in mind that heart disease is still the number one killer in America. So um, if that runs in your family or you have a tendency to have like high blood pressure or something, 
more greens, more spinach. I know they're, they suck at first, but you have, you have to do it, <laughs> you know, like your heart needs it. So just um, quit being a baby and uh, just keep at it. That's the best advice I can give you. Um, just keep eating greens little by little and then you'll start to really like them. Like myself, I really love greens. I eat kale salad all the time, not because I'm like trying to watch my weight, but because I like it. It really just tastes good. And I like green juice. So anyways, just get some greens in somehow, preferably like whole food greens, not like a powder green supplement. But if you need to start with a powder green supplement, fine. That's great. Get Just get going on it. Um, spinach is also good for acne prevention um, because of the high levels of chlorophyll in it. Um, it gives uh, your body alkaline properties. Um, it also has high levels of vitamin A, which vitamin A um, is good for your skin. It helps you regulate the levels of oil on your skin, which can um, lead to my next point, which is uh, it can also aid with growth of hair. So that's kind of like funny because I was like researching it last night and I was like, whoa, spinach can help you grow your hair back. So I don't know, might be something to try, might not hurt. Also, um, spinach is really good with preventing acid reflux and you want to keep it in its raw form to help you the most with acid reflux. Like try not to like cook it or um, like saute it or anything with oil. If you really want that acid reflux relief that spinach can offer you, juice it, eat it in a salad, um, or just pop it in your mouth like potato chips. Uh, okay, that's the majority of the benefits today. Let's get started on making the actual juice because we've got to cut up the pineapple today. Um, there we go. Okay, let me check the stream. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Yeah, it is a cute pineapple. Thank you. Thank you, Lacey. Yes. Good, Aaron. Good, good, good. Carla, hello. I've missed you on the show, Carla. Okay, let's start by cutting up the pineapple first because it's going to take us a little bit. Take us a little bit of time. We're only going to cut up half of it, um, but this is the best part. If you don't know, with pineapple, you don't have to cut the top off. You can actually just twist it off. So you want to get a good grip on it and then just spin and pull it. <laughs> kind of cool. Well, I didn't get out a little bowl for my rind. All right, let's do, let's start with half of the pineapple and then we'll possibly add more to it. Yum. Now, if you're wondering how I came up with this combo in my brain, my first thought was I wanted to do spinach, but I don't really love spinach. So I was like, okay, what do I, what would be good with spinach? And I was like, okay, spinach and pineapple would be really good together. So then I start thinking, but sheesh, that's a lot of acidity. So... I was like, what neutralizes acidity? Um, sweet potato. Sweet potato is really like a neutralizing this thing. So, um, so yeah. And then I was like, okay, I need one more thing in there. I don't really want to add a citrus because I think citrus would make it back to being a very acidic again. So let's do some ginger. 
Ginger kind of goes with everything. Okay. If I was cutting this up to eat it, I would like cut more of the like spiky stuff off, but we're just going to juice this. So we can cut it, we can be a little bit more, um, you don't have to pay attention to detail as much when you're cutting it to juice it. Ah! Okay, sweet. Pineapple has been cut. That was faster than, I guess I'm getting faster at cutting this stuff up. Now let's cut up the sweet potato. I'm just going to cut it up into little chunks. Okay. I'll have to show you guys my mug. I'm drinking out of this mug because it matches my outfit. <laughs> this mug was actually uh, thrown by one of my friends in Tyler, Texas. He is a great um, ceramics artist, but he's also a really good painter and drawer too. He's just great in art. His name's Christopher. Uh, if you want to look him up on Instagram, he's Christopher Umierski. Um, I think that's his handle, Christopher Umierski. U-M-I-E-R-S-K-I. -E Anyways, let's make some juice. Woo-wee. Cut this ginger in half. Mm. The ingredients are so beautiful today's uh, combo. I really love it. I think all fruit and vegetables are beautiful though. Okay, we'll start with spinach. I always start with the leafy greens first or anything that's kind of leafy because your blade is the sharpest right now when it's clean. Um, so you want the sharpest blade to cut the finest things. So basically you're gonna send it through the juicer um, based on how fine it is. Can you kind of figure these things out the longer you juice? I like guess certain order to add things into your juicer. Because it actually, it really matters a lot like what order you put them into your juicer. Um, you get more juice. Usually when you do like, because we're going to alternate with the greens with something juicy to kind of like pull it through the machine. And then I'll do the greens again and then I'll do something juicy until my greens are gone. And then I'll just alternate with whatever is left. Uh, if you're doing celery, you're always going to do celery last. Okay, now I'll put a piece of pineapple here. Especially with a masticating juicer like mine, a slow juicer, you want to um, make sure to run everything through slowly and do not rush your machine. Um, do not try to force a bunch of stuff through. It's just like life. You never want to force anything. Um, you want to let it pull it through. You have to be patient. Okay, let's add some more spinach. We'll do probably three rounds of spinach. Oh. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to run the pulp through a lot today. The pulp, as you can see, is like super wet, super juicy. So you want to keep running it through the machine until it's no longer super juicy. Okay, let's mix it up and add in some sweet potato. Oh, 
this is going to be an interesting juice. I am very excited. Okay, spinach is just falling all over my sink. Luckily, my sink is clean. Let's give it a little rinse. Okay. Let's finish off the spinach. So um, the video quality and the sound quality is going to hopefully be much better on our YouTube page than it normally is. So check out our YouTube page if you haven't um, checked it out yet. It's Yoga East Austin. Or you can just search the Tessie Juice Show on YouTube and you'll find it that way. Um, also, subscribe. Please subscribe to our page. So then I can start doing, put out more and more content because I know that you guys value it. You know? Yay! Okay. For those of you that have already subscribed to it, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm back on Saturday teaching my Hatha Hips class. Now I've been getting a lot of questions like how Hatha Hips is different from my Hips class on Sunday. They're very different classes. Hot the hips on Saturday, which is on Zoom, um, is more similar to a Bikram class than it is to anything. We go through all the Bikram postures, and then we do some more hip opening postures as well. So it's like a, it's a yoga class. Whereas like the hips class is only hips. We don't do really any of the Bikram postures. Um, and we do more like drills and strength work in the hips class that's in studio only. So, if you're like, I can't decide if I should take your Hatha Hips or your Hips class, I think you should do both of them. Because they're both great. And the Hatha Hips, which is on Saturdays at 8 a.m. on Zoom, um, is more of a like wake your body up. It's not like a, it's not going to be a super challenging class. It's all levels. Beginners are very welcome. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about the two classes that I teach on the weekends. I'm also teaching uh, Vikram, 10 a.m. on Saturday at 12, in studio. Okay, let's get going on the streets, I'm just talking too much. I have no clue what color this juice is going to be. I'm thinking like a light green, but then again, I don't know. Because there's so many factors. The green from the spinach, but also like the creamy whiteness from the soup potato, but also kind of like orange yellow. 
and yellow from the pineapple. We'll see. Yeah, the pulp is like three different colors. It's like green, yellow, and orange, like exactly like our ingredients. It's going to be a very like thick juice though, like syrupy consistency. We're going to pause here to empty our cup, but also to show you how cool this looks. Here, I'm going to take the camera and show you. Look at that. It's like orange and, wow, orange and green and all the things. Yes, good, exactly. Lindsay, you can't force yoga. That's like what I always talk about in class. Um, how much ginger did you add? Ooh, okay, good question. Um, general rule of thumb for me with ginger, I usually add about, <laughs> rule of thumb, is I add about a thumb size worth of ginger to every juice I make. If you, that's kind of been increased lately because I really like ginger so I use about a thumb and a half um, worth of ginger but if you don't like spicy things or if you're just getting into juicing I would say use like just the tip of your thumb worth because then you won't like overwhelm your taste buds you won't you'll be able to taste everything in the cup not just ginger See, this juice is an interesting color. Wow. So we're gonna run the pulp through and that might change the color of it too. Who knows? Hmm. Exciting. It smells good. I think it's gonna taste good. But I don't know, okay. Let's finish, let's run the pulp through a couple times until it gets dry and then we'll be done. Then we'll try it. Roll up my sleeves for this. Oh, that is juicy. It's like putting my hands in applesauce. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. 
such an interesting combo. I could either be brilliant or I could be insane. <laughs> Probably one of the bolts is the best answer. Wow, as the juice is settling, it's looking really cool. my show said to me, they're like, I never thought to run the pulp back through. And I don't know what um, made me do that. I think I was just kind of like, one day I was like, why don't I try to see what would happen if I ran the pulp back through? And then I was like, oh, it's like I'm throwing away so much juice. So do it. try it once more, run it back through. The second and third round is always super quick. so 90s, like, uh, barf. <laughs> Blowing chunks is pretty good, too. That's like a, that's more like my brother would say that. That's a boy, that's a boy term for sure. Okay. Enough puke talk. Rinse these hands off. <sighs> okay. Check this pupper, puppy out. What a weird color. It's kind of the color of barf. <laughs> Sick. That's okay. It's gonna be so much better for you than barf. Let's just stop talking about barf because I'm about to drink this. So. Really, it's just me talking about it, so I'm going to quit. Wow, it's actually really beautiful. The color is like chartreuse, like a light chartreuse. Kind of like, like if butter and chartreuse were mixed together. Here, I'll hold it up closer so you can see it. Um, cheers to finding something to laugh at today, genuinely laugh at. Um, doesn't matter what it is, it's just good to laugh. Um, oh, also cheers to voting. I voted on Friday, 
It was easy, it was quick. I think early voting is going through um, October 30th in Texas. So get out there and vote. It's quick, it's important, right now especially, and um, it's a good deed, it's a good thing to do. Okay, cheers. Yum. That was a little delayed reaction because I didn't know what, what I was experiencing. Wow, that's really good. You know what's weird is the first, <laughs> this is so weird. The first thought that popped in my head was Fruit Loop cereal milk. Like, it's, that was weird. I was like, this tastes just like the milk from a bowl of Fruit Loops. But like, obviously much, much, much healthier. Um, wow, this is, this is yummy. I like this one a lot. Very mild. Um, the first thing I tasted was the pineapple, which I knew that was going to happen because pineapple is sweet and delicious and like intense. But then the like the mild milkiness of the sweet potato jumped in and like tamed off the pineapple from being too sweet and then i tasted a little the ginger next spicy and then a little tiny bit of spinach like just a little bit not anything too crazy um but that is that's good that's really good. And I thought I might miss having a citrus in there, but I think the pineapple is perfect. Um, it gives you the sweetness, but it also gives you the kick of the citrus. Very good. I like this one. This is a winner. Um, okay, that's the Tessie Juice Show for today. Let me take a look at the stream one more time, see if I missed anything. Yes. I don't know who you are, view equalizer. Hello. Space balls barf, yep. Um, <laughs> yes, it is similar to the color of my dress, for sure. Ha, huh, I'm in theme today. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I hope to see you in studio soon. If you wanna get a hold of me, you can find me on Instagram. Tessa McFabulous. That's right. T E S S A M C F A B B U L O U S. Mwah. See you soon. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to our channel and um, check me out on Instagram. Lots of juice content and also um, yoga content as well because I am a yoga teacher, if you don't know that. <laughs> That's my full-time job. Okay. Be kind to yourself. <laughs>